Let's continue. Okay, back to the 50L6. Let me turn my monitor here so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay. 50L6. Okay, 50L6, where are you? I'm getting close. Maybe. 50L6. Right there. Okay. All right. We have A circuit set for three. Okay. We have the B filament, 150, obviously. Okay. We have the C load set for 21. Okay, right now all the switches are set for the middle, so we go, go look at the switch settings. For 50L6, it's two up. See if you can see that. Two up. And seven, eight. Neither of them are in bold. Let me get my glasses on. I'm not sure that's an eight. Hold on. Yeah, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Uh, down. Uh, the seven is bold. Okay. So, two up, seven down. All right, to do the shorts test, put the tube in. Okay. Turn off the light so you can see the short light if it comes on. A um, little too dark. Okay. Okay, I got my finger on the eight. This is the short light right there where my finger is, if you can see that. And down and up, it doesn't come on. Okay. So, all right, with two up and seven and eight down, we turn on the value test, and there we go. It's in the green. Let me go check the line, because on tubes under a loan, load, sorry, um, bring down the line setting, line voltage setting a little bit. Let me crank it up. Okay, this should give a more accurate test under... There, see, it's almost at the end of the gauge. So this tests good on this tester and on my Seco tube tester over here. So let's move on and check another tube. Okay. All right, so we did the 50L6 and the 35Z5. Let's move on to a 12SQ7. Okay. On this one, all the settings are down to normal, low. And we'll look up 12SQ7 in the Seagull manual. 12SQ7. Okay. of S Q sevens. Well, this is going to be a longer test. There is three sections to test. Okay. So the filament voltage is set for 12, obviously. Okay. Um, the R, switch R on B for one section. I uh, lost where we were here. 12S, oh, Q7B, 
and the load sevening. Load on sevening. Right about, hard to tell from this far away. I'd say right about there. Put the tube in. Oh, hold on. One more thing. 70. Okay, there's no switch L notes here. See up here, you can see on these tubes, there's X setting, X7, X setting, Z7. Okay, Z setting. Uh, but when there's nothing, that means that you have the switch L on normal position. Okay, it's easy as that. All right, put the tube in the socket. Okay, let's check um, for shorts. It's in the good section down here. Tap on it. Okay, I don't see it going like there's any shorts or intermittent shorts. Okay. And let's see, 12 SQ7. Checking all my settings, 70. Well, the gauge isn't, the meter isn't budging. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. <clears throat> it looks like the pins on the tube need to be uh, need to be cleaned or something. Because when I move it around in the tester, look what happens. So it's either my socket and the tester, but we just used that socket for another tube, and I didn't have that problem. Or it's something else to do with it. Maybe there's a wire in the base in one of the pins that needs to be resorted. I don't know. I'll have to go check that out. It'll be interesting to see if the same thing happens over here. Anyways, that section, that section, 12 SQ7. Okay, this next section. Okay, filament voltage obviously is the same. Switch R, you put on C. Okay, you turn up the load to 100. And as you can see, it's in the good range there. Check for shorts. Of course, we already did that, so I guess it's redundant. And the last section is, this goes on D, and this stays on 100, and it's good. So according to this Seco meter, this tube is good, the 12SQ7. Okay, let's come over here. Look up 12SQ7 in the NRI 66 manual. Oh yeah, speaking about the NRI 66 and the triplet 2413, if anybody's got an extended tube chart, um, please let me know if you could give me a copy or whatever, because this thing doesn't have many tubes. I've already run into a lot of tubes that this doesn't even list. So if anybody's got anything like that, please get in touch with me, please. All right, 12SQ7. 12SQ7, okay, you can see it here, 12SQ7, test 2, test 3, just like the Seco. Okay, so it says filament, I mean A circuit, sorry, A circuit, to 3, filament voltage to 12.6, I would help if I put it on the right tube tester here. 12.6, A circuit 3, the C load on 28, and about there, okay, 8, put all these in the middle, 8 up, 7 is bold, down. So if I put on 3, 4, 5, Okay, that will check for shorts. Okay, one at a time you do, you move those down. Okay, turn off the lights. Little tube.
too dark. There. One, two, three. Okay, three. Just blank, didn't stay on. Three. And what else did I say? Four and five. Four, five. That one didn't blink at all. But didn't stay steadily lit, so that's just supposed to be good. Okay. All right. Now if we put three, four, five down, according to the other tube, and then do the test, it should read good. And it does. That's section one. Things are getting copacetic here. I'm starting to understand this thing. All right, test two. A circuit down to one. Of course, the filament doesn't change. The load setting does, so bring it up to 40 here. Okay. Eight up, let's change this. Eight up, seven is the only one in bold, down. Two, three, four, five, six is the test. So, lights off. Two, three, four, five, six. Looks good. Okay. Right? Now if we put two, three, four, five, and six down, put it on value, uh, let's say operator errors. Eight up. Two, three, four, six. Uh, that's a problem. Two, three, four, six. I screwed up again. Okay, now let's check for that. There we go. All right. Last section. Test three. Okay. A circuit, same thing, one. Filament, same. Load, same. Um, the up, the same, eight. Uh, the only difference here is two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, two, three, five, six, seven. It's creeping up. Two, three, five, six, seven. Two, three, five, six, seven. Eight is up. Rest in the middle. Okay, looks like it's good to me. Um, well, I don't think I'm going to bore you anymore with this tube testing, but I just kind of wanted to show you um, that these tube testers, this one is beginning to jive with this one. I would like to know from you guys again if the Seiko Model 70, let me read it, 78 grid circuit tube tester is actually a better test than this one. I have a suspicion it probably is. Better build quality, everything more beautiful, whatever. Um, this one, build quality, not so good. I mean, it's good, but it's not like, this is like military grade. Um, but this does have an amplification. I'd like to hear your opinion on this. Um, I got two tubes to test, but I'm not going to videotape this because you get the idea. So, uh, the next test out, the next uh, video section after this, I would imagine would be removing the chassis from that base plate and looking at the paper caps and checking for out of tolerance resistors. So uh, be looking forward to uh, to doing that and uh, and we're getting there. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.